What's going on guys, Jesse from Sled Addicts. So I uh, actually picked up a new uh, BRP accessory that's new for model year 2022, and that's BRP's new Link Lock. Now a bunch of companies have made locks for Link accessories in the past, like iTech Industries, and I did a review on that lock last year, so you can see a video on that. And this is actually the uh, iTech Industries lock that I've been using. Um, but I just picked up the new BRP link lock, so I wanted to uh, go through uh, what's different about that and how that one works, and then we'll compare it to the iTech lock and go through some of the pros and cons. Okay, so this is the new link lock by Skidoo. You can actually, when you buy them, you can buy them as one link lock or two. If you buy them as two, you get 10% 10 off each of the locks. So, in the box, you get your set of keys and the lock itself. So the difference between this lock and a lot of other locks is instead of mounting to the sled itself, like the uh, iTech lock is, it's actually just gets, it clips onto the, uh, the, the specific link bag itself through this little lever here. And then this arm can lift up and come down to lock on the bag. So I'm gonna give you guys a brief demonstration of how you connect this to your link bag and then how you actually lock it onto the machine. Okay, so when you get this lock out of the box, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually unlock it. So nice um, rubber cover here, you pull that open, you put your key in that it came with, and then this opens up like that. With that open up, then you can actually go and put it on your bag. So I'm gonna try to show this as best as I can. You open up your, your link lock, and then you put this on. And what I'm gonna try to show you here is that there's a little clasp here. You put that down, or you push that in and now it's locked to your link bag. And it's as easy as just pushing that uh, or opening that up and then you can put this onto any link bag you have and lock it down. Now with that like it is, you can then lock it onto your sled which we'll show you in a second. Once you've got your link lock fastened onto your bag through this um, little lever over here, you can put your bag onto your link brackets on your machine and then you can close up the bag. Before you actually put down this cover, I hold it up I'm going to close the link lock, close that down, and then you can put your strap down, close this, and you're good to go. This bag will not come off, because if I try to actually pull that open, it won't let you. So that is, in brief, how the uh, link lock by BRP works. So just to highlight the differences between BRP's link lock and iTech Industries uh, link lock. So there's a few differences. One, the iTech Industries link lock actually stays, uh, it's actually mounted to the machine itself uh, versus the bag. So you basically, to, to take off your bag, you grab your keys and you, this bag um, or this lock is actually using a spring-loaded locking mechanism. So you put your key in there, you spin it around once and you pull it out and it's popped up. And with that popped up, this it allows you to pull this out and this is what's actually locking up your bag. So if I open up my strap here, uh, I can't open this unless I pull this out. And when this pulled out, then I can actually open uh, the bag and pull it off. And vice versa, if I uh, push this down, it locks it and I can't actually open this. So I can't get my bag off. Now there are some, some key differences. I like the locking mechanism on the BRP lock better. It's a, it's a key lock and it seems less likely to freeze. This is spring loaded uh, and sometimes it can be a pain to open because you kind of have to spin your key around a full 360 to open the lock. And the other thing is you need two hands because in order to open the iTech Industries lock, you need to unlock the bag. So I'll show you that again. So you have to do one full 360 with the key comes off and then not, you, you have to hold this open and do this at the same time to get the bag off. And the problem I found last winter a few times was that, especially in the, in the real cold weather, this got stuck and you needed, like I often had to put a key or something in here to get leverage to pull this uh, open to, get, to uh, get off the jerry can. And it's important because there was one period of time where I actually needed to use the jerry can on the trail and it took me a good five minutes to get it off. So I'm definitely a fan of this locking me mechanism better. Uh, this is still an excellent product and I would highly suggest it. Um, but for me, I think that this is the better option because it stays with my bags 
and while this is actually just mounted onto the machine and stays in this slot, this lock I can just take off and put on any bag I want super easily. And the other thing that's awesome is if you buy these link locks uh, together, let's say you buy three of them online at the, on the BRP website or through your dealer, you can get them all keyed the same. So all your, um, all your link locks will be using the same key and it will make it super easy to get bags on and off. And I think it's super important because there's uh, there's always a chance that your bags can get stolen. Let's say you stop for lunch on the trail or outside your hotel if you're not always looking at your sled. So having these locks is just an added um, an ad added measure of security. At the end of the day, if someone wants your bag, they're going to take it any way they can. But this scares away a lot of people, and I think it's definitely a great product from Skidoo this year. So at the end of the day, if you're looking for a lock to lock up any link accessories onto your sled or Sea-Doo or really any... Um, vehicle you're using with link bags. Either the BRP link lock or the iTech Industries link lock are both excellent options and you should definitely check them out. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.